In this episode, we're going to be sharing our recipe for cornbread dressing. So good that even your kids might want to eat it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And in today's episode, we're going to be sharing uh, my family's, uh, our family's, my family's recipe for <laughs> cornbread dressing. It's been handed down from my great aunt to my grandmother, uh, to my mom, to me, and we make it every Thanksgiving. We're going to insert video of us making it last night right here. All right, we're back and we're uh, making cornbread dressing for you today. We've already prepared some things beforehand. Uh, we use three pounds of cornbread. Now, a pound is made in an iron skillet. If you don't know what you know, pound cornbread is, that's a pound of cornbread. Uh, we use a southern cornbread recipe uh, that used to be on the back of the Martha White uh, self-rising cornmeal. Uh, I can't find it here in Texas, so I Googled it and came back up with the recipe. But it's a southern corn, southern cornbread. Uh, so we've got three pounds of cornbread in here. It's all crumbled up and ready to go. Uh, this is um, Chrissy's famous um, uh, cream of chicken soup. Not famous. We don't buy it in the stores anymore just because of the, the sodium content. We can control the ingredients that are in here. And... Um, so we'll use that. Uh, we've also pre-prepared some... We, we can link the recipe down in the description. Yeah, we can. Um, we've already pre-prepared some uh, vegetables, uh, bell peppers, uh, green onions, and uh, celery that we're going to chop up in our nice little chopper right here because as my mom says, uh, you can always hide vegetables if you chop them fine enough. And I'm, I'm okay with that because it was me. So if you have a, I don't want to say a picky eater because I'm not a picky eater. I like what I like. If that's picky, then I guess it's picky, but um, but I like what I like. So uh, she would always chop them up real fine so I know they were in there. If you have a food processor, you could probably do it a lot quicker than we do. Yeah, because we got this little rinky-dink thing right here. So it serves us well. Yeah. So we've got bell peppers. And this is one bell pepper. All right, so next we're going to uh, take the, uh, the chopped vegetables. We took them out of the containers and chopped them in a little mini chopper. And now we're going to saute them in about three pounds of butter. <laughs> Not really, it's just a stick. We've got our sticker butter here melted. We'll put our uh, vegetables, our finely chopped vegetables in there. And we're just going to saute it until that butter reduces down. Just kind of stir it around. Like that. Let that go. Okay, while that's doing that, I've uh, got a few other things we need to do. This is the cream and chicken soup. We also need uh, six to eight eggs. And so I'll just. So we're just going to kind of scramble our eggs a little bit there. That's scramble. Just well, whisk. Whisk them up pretty good. And then all of this is gonna start going into the cornbread there. Take that, put it over in there, like so. 
Now, my mom would take this mixture and she would just take her hands and just get all up in there with it. I'm not that brave. If I had some gloves, I probably would, but I'm not, and I don't. Well, so. we mentioned about uh, hen. Yeah, some people put um, chicken in their dressing, their cornbread dressing. Uh, so they'll take a hen and they'll boil it um, till it's really nice and tender. And then they'll mix it up in like we're doing here with the um, with the rest of the stuff. Somebody, some people actually also put uh, boiled eggs uh, in their dressing. My mom used to do that. My grandmother used to, actually this is my aunt's recipe that was handed, my great aunt's recipe was handed down to my, uh, through my grandmother, through, to my mom, to me. And my aunt used to put um, boiled eggs in her version of it. Uh, she'd boil the eggs, chop them up, and then put them in the, uh, in the dressing. Well, my dad didn't like boiled eggs, uh, so my mom took it out of the recipe. And so we don't have it in our recipe. Although I, do like, although I do like boiled eggs, I would. But put the raw eggs in instead, and it cooks inside the dressing when you bake it. So it's still cooked eggs. It's just not boiled ahead of time. Correct. A little piece of the puzzle is to get our uh, chicken broth, our homemade chicken broth. Christy makes this. Uh, we uh, do whole chickens. We bake whole chickens. We use the meat for a couple of recipes. And then Christy takes the bones and makes homemade uh, chicken broth. So, again, we can control the narrative on what's in it. So, um, and what I like to do is skim the fat off the top. The, uh, the fat layer, this one doesn't really have a lot of fat on the top of it. Just a little bit. Um, not enough, but I'll take the fat off the top and I'll use the fat as a starter for my turkey gravy that I'm gonna make tomorrow with the drippings from the turkey, which is really, really good. I I must say so myself, as my mom would say. <laughs> um, and so what we do is just kind of mix it in. I know it's gonna take a lot, so because what you want is you want it really good and moist um, because, and even a little more moist than you think it should be, uh, you might want to add just a little bit more broth even after that because what's going to happen is when you put it in the refrigerator overnight, which we're going to do, it's going to dry out a little bit. So yes. you still want it a little bit moist in the morning so you're, uh, so when you go to bake it, you're, um, it doesn't dry out. It doesn't dry out when you bake it. So you want it a little bit over moist. You almost want it so moist that it jiggles like jello. Yeah, we'll show you that in a few minutes, but just kind of, you see it kind of starting to firm up there a little bit. And we used to do this, this right here would feed our family. Uh, but now there's only three of us here for Thanksgiving. But um, this will actually feed us for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, we just keep adding in the, keep adding in the chicken broth. Let's keep mixing it around. I can't remember back when we used to buy boxed ones. How many boxed one, uh, broths would we buy? I think we'd buy two, and we'd only use about one, and maybe um, a little bit more than one, just to make sure we had enough. Had enough. Correct. And so you can see it starting to kind of take shape there. The um, the uh, cornbread starts to uh, firm up there. It's not as mealy as it was earlier. You can see it's kind of starting to look like a starting to look like something there so we'll get a little bit more and don't worry we got more in the refrigerator so if you think that's that's way too dry well we got more from where that came from uh, see that good fat right there that makes a good um, turkey gravy tomorrow that'll be my little bit of starter that I have for my turkey gravy 
before I put the flour in and then before I put the turkey juices in there. Okay. All right. So that's pretty good. A little bit more in there. Just when you think you got enough, you want to add just a little bit more. Okay. That's kind of look pretty good there. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll kind of make sure we get that mixed in real good. Fold it over. Kind of smooth it out on the top. <laughs> okay. So you can kind of shake it. You can kind of see it's kind of, it's kind of moist there. You can see it jiggling around a little bit. Just a tad more. You should be good. Now, what's going to happen here is this is we're going to put the lid on this, and this is going to go in the refrigerator overnight, and then we'll divide this up into two pans. We'll put one in the freezer and freeze it, and then we'll cook the other one tomorrow for lunch, uh, for um, for Thanksgiving dinner. So that's our um, uh, our homemade cornbread dressing recipe. Uh, we're going to put that in the in the comments below, uh, description below, so you can take a look at that. If you have any questions? Comment below. Tell us what your um, favorite uh, Thanksgiving side is. I know everybody's main course is probably either ham or turkey. Um, for us, it's turkey. But uh, tell us what your favorite Thanksgiving side is. And I, we won't judge you if it's cranberry sauce. Um, <laughs> but you won't see cranberry sauce here tomorrow. Um, so we'll put this in the refrigerator overnight. Be ready to go in the morning. All right, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, and what you see here, we've taken the the dressing that we made last night, it's been in the refrigerator all night. Uh, we put it in two pans. This one's going in the freezer. We'll put a, another piece of aluminum foil over this. This one will go in the oven at 350 for about, uh, about an hour. If it's the big pan, it's usually about an hour and a half, but the half pan usually takes about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. But you wanna watch it until, um, uh, until it's got a good crust around the edge of the dressing. And that means it's uh, pretty much done in the middle. So um, about another hour, hour and a half, and that'll be ready to go. All right, so here we have the finished product. This is the dressing. After it's baked for about an hour and 15 minutes. See the turkey right there? Oh, yeah. Um, but this is it. And uh, it's kind of got, you can see it kind of got that little crust right around the edge. And then it's a little firm in the middle. So you don't want to overcook it because it, that'll dry it out. Uh, but this is almost, almost made to perfection there. We hope that you've enjoyed our recipe for cornbread dressing. We find that it, that recipe varies not just by region, but even within each family um, setting. So comment below and tell us what do you do different to make your cornbread dressing? Or do, are you team stuffing or team dressing? All right, and then check out the videos that are going to be floating around here, 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 or here. Uh, just click on those for more content. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell for, uh, for new uh, recipe uh, videos that, that we'll have coming up. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed today's video uh, as much as we did. And we'll see you next time on The Long Run. Bye. Bye.